today. Here are seven things to know to start your day. Number one happening today, former Adams County Coroner James Keller due back in court. Court records show that he's due in court this morning for a status hearing. An appellate prosecutor says they are close to an agreement but need more time to reach it. If negotiations aren't reached, Keller is set to go to trial in March. Number two also happening today, Quincy Mayor Kyle Moore delivers his State of the City address. It will happen at 1145 this morning at the Elks Lodge in Quincy. KHQA will be there with all the details and we're going to broadcast it live on Facebook if you'd like to follow along. Number three and new this half hour, an Iowa congressman mired in scandal says he plans to run for re-election. In an interview on Iowa Public Television, Steve King rejected responsibility for his statements in the New York Times that seemed to defend white nationalism. The Republican congressman said he was misquoted and has nothing to apologize for. Number four, new this half hour, Israel is headed to the moon. Last night, an unmanned SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket blasted off from Florida's Cape Canaveral, carried an unmanned lunar lander. If the mission is successful, Israel will become the only the fourth nation to land on the surface of the moon. And number five and new this half hour, the White House says a small group of U.S. soldiers will remain in Syria despite President Trump's recent call for a full withdrawal. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says about 200 soldiers will remain. America currently has more than 2,000 soldiers in the war-torn nation. Number six, also new this half hour, President Donald Trump will meet with China's vice premier at the White House today. Trade tops the agenda just a week ahead of a U.S.-imposed deadline to reach a trade deal or higher tariffs will take effect. At number seven, mid-20s this morning as you head out on a Friday gearing up for the weekend. You'll need that umbrella as heavy rain is expected.